What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2 in another mod workshop. Today I wanted to take a moment and talk about the controller mods. That is the controller servo, the controller boom, and its chip equivalents for DPS heroes. As you see these, like in this controller servo situation, it increases damage to crowd controlled enemies. Now, crowd control or CC is a pretty common term in the gaming world. However, lots of folks are always asking exactly what this means. Now, crowd control is one of the slowing type abilities. So we've got stun, slow, frozen, oiled, drenched, and knocked up. Those are all crowd control statuses in the game and can be achieved from various sources. I thought the easiest way to go through all of the defenses in the game and all of the abilities in the game would be just to head on over to our create hero screen and take a look at the heroes one by one. Now taking a look at the apprentice, um, the apprentice's towers, if we look through them, the flamethrower, an arcane barrier, a frostbite tower shoots a beam of frost in an enemy slowing an enemy. Now, slow, of course, is a crowd control effect, so enemies that are slowed from the Frostbite Tower would get the benefit of one of the controller mods. Then we've got Earth Shatter. Now, Earth Shatter alone does not provide any crowd control. However, we do know that there is a knockup shard that is commonly used with the Earth Shatter, and this does add a crowd control effect to the Earth Shatter Tower as well. Taking a look through the Apprentice's abilities, Arcane Volley, gives us no crowd control. Tornado provides a knockup. Uh, while the enemies are suspended in the air, they are crowd controlled and the controller servo would work at that time. Mana Bomb offers nothing and then of course the heal. Taking a look at the Squire's defenses, the Cannonball Tower. Once again, another tower that a stun shard is commonly used with it and that does provide crowd control. Taking a look at the other Apprentice's abilities, we do have Seismic Slam. Now, Seismic Slam provides a stun to all the enemies in the area. And this, of course, is another form of crowd control. So the controller mod would work in that situation. Taking a look at the Huntress here, we've got the Geyser Trap, which not only knocks up, but drenches. So that's two different forms of crowd control in one particular defense. Then the concussive shots, of course, stun enemies, which is a crowd control. The oil flask oils enemies, which is a crowd control as well. And moving on over to the monk. The monk only has one form of crowd control out of its defenses, and that is the Skyguard Tower. Now, of course, remember you can add a slow shard to a boost aura, which slow, of course, is another form of crowd control, and the controller servo would work in conjunction with both of these defenses. Now, like in the case of the boost aura, that doesn't mean you would want to put the controller servo on the boost aura itself, but on the defenses that are in the area, and the boost aura would provide the control as long as you had the slow shard implemented. Pole Smash provides a knockup, and Heroic Wave can also be modded where it gives a stun, which would be crowd control. Moving right along through all the heroes, uh, Orc Blockade, Ramsters, Skeletal Archers, and the Colossus, the Abyss Stone, then the Knight of the Abyss, the old number two spam, which I personally love to do on the Abyss Lord, is indeed a form of crowd control as it's going to stun and knock back those enemies. Taking a look at the EV2, now this is a defense that would get a wonderful buff from the crowd control itself, and that is the Proton Beam. Proton beams, of course, slow all enemies within it, except enemies, of course, that are immune to slow, and slow is a controller effect, meaning if you put con the controller servo onto a proton beam, that would be an excellent, excellent addition to this defense. The same can be said about the weapon manufacturer when used in correlation with Shocking Revelations mod, as that provides a stun, and, of course, then a crowd control on top of it. Moving over to the Gunwitch, the Gunwitch has got all the CC. Oh yeah, Book Drop 
is crowd control. This is actually counted as a stun. The broom nado can be crowd control if you shard it as you get that drench. And then taking a look at the other abilities, the blunder broom buster is indeed a stun. The ice needle, of course, a freeze is a type of stun, but it does count as the frozen effect, which is right in correlation with the controller mods. Taking a look at the Lava Mancer, it's got a couple of big ones. First off, the Maul of the Earth Drake. That wall is crowd control. It is indeed, as, as that beam is slowing an enemy, that enemy is crowd controlled. Oil Geyser, of course, oils, which is another form of crowd control. And then the Volcano can be equipped to stun, which would also crowd control enemies. Moving right along to the Mystic. The Mystic is another one that's got several forms. We've got the Snaking Sands, which is an AoE stun and a form of crowd control. The Mystic Walls, which of course knock up the enemies and bubbles them. Once again, more crowd control. And then the knock up bubble that will take place on the Obelisk once it's upgraded is another form of CC as well. Call to Madness is once again one more form of crowd control. And then taking a look at the Dryad. Uh, the Dryad, of course, has an oil from the Slime Pit. Anytime the Dryad is in corrupt form, the Slime Pit will naturally oil without shards or anything, which will help with that controller servo. The Angry Nimbus, just by default, without even playing on the Dryad actively, naturally drenches enemies, which drench is going to be another form of CC, as it is providing a slow on top of it. Then... The slow or the stun and the slow during purification form and the stun during uh, corrupt form are both a form of crowd control while using the Dryad's mushrooms. The initiate would follow the same rules as the monk as far as the defenses go, and then of course gets a little bit of crowd control out of the Chi Stomp as she knocks enemies up into the air. The Adept is another crowd control queen, has just got a lot of it going on. Uh, the Earth Shatter would be just like the Apprentice. And then we've got the Tornado and the Arcane Bubble. Uh, the Arcane Bubble is can be just absolutely incredible. And another area where a large pack of enemies could be crowd controlled, giving the controller benefit to any of the defenses that are in that area. And then last but not least, the Barbarian. We all know the Barbarian is all about the Electrocute. The Electrocute combo is indeed a stun, and that is indeed crowd control. So the Controller Servo, if you are going for a Shock-type uh, Barb build, is just would go hand-in-hand in, hand in any defenses in the area, plus even as chips on the Barbarian itself. So I know this was a little lengthy, but I did want to run through all the different forms of crowd control that can be created directly from the heroes, and that is the defenses that will benefit from the controller type mods in this situation, the controller servo. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this helps everyone understand exactly what crowd control is in Dungeon Defenders 2, and I can only imagine how many times over the course of this video I said the words crowd control. But thank you once again, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.